Hey there, hi there, ho there, how are you doing? Hope you're still good, hope you're still safe, and if there's anything that still hasn't changed, it's Black Lives Matter. Okay, how are you? <laughs> I'm here because I drew two characters this week, and instead of drawing everybody else, because I am tired and always tired, uh, I drew John and Maria because I really love these characters. Actually, I love drawing Maria. I'm not super fond of her. I mean, she's a really interesting person, but I'm a sucker for John because he's so, so interesting as a historical figure and also just, I don't know, I like, I, I, I like Anthony Ramos. He's a, he's, he's great and I am a sucker for freckles. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what's wrong with me. Uh, yeah. So, I had some fun. Uh, I, I don't know, I really like how these two turned out. I love them so much more than how um, Eliza turned out. I feel really bad because I might go back and redraw her, but I really love how Maria turned out because like she's fun to draw to begin with. I know I mentioned it probably in my comments? No, with the Eliza Skylar video, but I like drawing round things, I guess, and she like, you can kind of have a lot of fun with uh, just hair for both her and for Lawrence. I had a lot of fun with Lawrence too. Um, I added a little bit of detail to him afterwards, after spraying it, just because a uh, gel pen is really nice and I can do a lot more with it. But yeah, <laughs> I might actually go back into Maria and rescan this because I'm looking at these two drawings now and I'm like, I feel like there should be more contrast in our face, but that might just be me. Who knows? We'll find out. You'll see at the end. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I mentioned a lot that I like pastels and this these two drawings actually kind of remind me how much I love to use pastels because there's a little bit more blending and a little bit more just having fun with stuff. The only thing that kind of sucked was my red for whatever reason was like, I guess, dry, which I didn't know was a thing that could happen, but I couldn't get the pigment onto the cardboard and I couldn't get it on paper either, so I just need to figure out what the heck and if I can salvage this because I don't want to just toss it out because pastels, even though it's not super expensive, they're still expensive and I'd rather use them rather than like toss them, you know what I mean? But I've had them since college. I had to use those specific colors for a project. I didn't have to, but I just decided I want nice pastels. So yeah, I use Prismacolor by the way. Uh, they're pretty nice. I really like them. They're, there's a little bit more of like a wetness to them, I guess. I don't know. They're different from the Artist Loft Chalk pastel where it just kind of fluffs off versus the new pastels, which have a little bit more of a buttery consistency like i don't know how to describe it i guess like on okay if i were to describe it kind of like eyeshadow there's like the the butteriness of like a high-end eyeshadow um <laughs> honestly my only comparison is like ulta not ulta uh uh urban decay i guess i think that's the one that i have i've got like the naked palette or whatever just a mini palette but no. like it's so much more pigment and they they go a lot further than say like a NYX palette which is not bad it's just it's kind of chalky and you really have to build up and use a lot more you have to rely heavily on your base rather than just like being able to just lap it on without even having to worry about other colors and other things honestly you know what the eyeshadow comparison might work I don't know but yeah, that's just how it kind of feels to me when it comes to like mixing these colors. I should try other materials just because they're fun. I have some paint markers. Um, I've done a couple of drawings in another sketchbook. I got like a black sketchbook just because it's fun to do really bright colors on dark paper and it kind of gives it like a pop arc vibe to it. So far I've drawn All Might in it, Katara. And I drew somebody else recently. Oh, I drew Spongebob. I still haven't given up on Spongebob. I've actually spent like the last week learning most of the songs from the show because I really like the musical still. Haha. <laughs> I'm on a musical kick right now. And by musical kick, I mean like I'm listening to legitimately two shows on repeat. Because I can. Uh, <laughs> that's not what the problem. It's fine. I've seen three before. Um, Hamilton was one of them, which I mentioned last week, and I'm still pretty lucky that I got to see that. 
Another was the... Uh, I, w I got to see Spongebob before that sadly ended. I'm hoping they're able to go on tour again because the actors were really great and I really love the Sandy. She's great. Uh, and then um, I actually got to see Wicked a while ago in college because my cousin had like tickets, a year-round ticket, and she was able to give me one and I was like, okay. And that one's a pretty good show. I really do like Wicked a lot. I should do a drawing of Wic of Alphaba. Um, she's one of my favorite characters just like as a whole. She's so interesting and good and it's hard to watch The Wizard of Oz now and be all like, yeah, go Dorothy, when like I know all the crap she went through, which is awful, but it's so good. So, you know, there's that. Um, I've seen Rent just on DVD because that one's kind of a classic when it comes to seeing in movies. I've seen Sweeney Todd in movies. I'm I'm personally more fond of the movie than the live show because I watched that a lot because I was a huge Tim Burton fan. Um, I've also seen Les Mis. I mean, like, it's a pretty common one. It's actually kind of funny to listen to people rant about it because there's certain songs where I had to leave. There was a song that I had to leave the theater because I could not stand it. It was Bring Him Home and it was just so hard to listen to because his voice just does not hit those notes right and like looking into more of the stuff that they had to do and recognizing some of the stuff that's just not right about singing and theater and stuff like that or musical theater it's like this is wrong <laughs> you should not do this to your poor actors this is not how you do this kind of stuff so yeah i can't like, everybody, I remember back in, back then, everybody was just, like, raving about it and being so excited about it. And I do really love Anne Hathaway's performance a lot. And Eponine. Oh my god, Eponine. Um, but, like, I can't, I can't watch that movie anymore. And, like, it's just painful because I had, I saw it, like, two times in a week because I saw it with my family but then I also saw it with my at the time girlfriend which was weird thinking back on that like oh man that was a weird time college was weird man <laughs> so that that happened um yeah I don't know why I'm talking about musicals I just want to avoid talking about history because I rant and rave a lot because hi I like history um I feel like I should do like one of those fandom things that I would do but I don't want to do it on Hamilton because I wasn't really in the fandom. I was on the outer parts of it. There's certain things that I found out recently that happened and I'm like, how did I, how did that happen? Is that real? How was that real? So that was a fun time to experience. But other than that, there's not, I don't, I don't have much else to say like I feel like the next time I might just like put the music and either try and sing along to certain songs because I'm fun I love that kind of stuff but then again my voice has like the same kind of nasaliness as like not good Spongebob <laughs> like cartoon version Spongebob so I don't know I don't know uh, who knows cat can you not push me out of my own chair She's sitting behind me and like I can see her feet and she's pushing against stuff and I'm like this is my chair Hi, this is my chair. This is my chair. Anyway uh, That's I've said anyway like ten times. I'm gonna end this here because I am rambling. I'm sorry <laughs> uh, Yeah, thanks for watching. Okay. I appreciate y'all great good I'm only half sorry about my last video with the interlude uh yeah. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.
I may not live to see our glory. I may not live to see our glory. But I've seen wonders great and small. I've seen wonders great and small. Cause if the tomcat can get married, if Alexander can get married, there's hope for all.